What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Heavy Wrench. Thanks for tuning in today. And uh, today we're going to do another little tool haul. Um, anyway, let's get after it. But thanks for stopping in. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. Let me know what you think. Um, I'd like to do more tool hauls, but I've kind of got quite a collection already, so it's not going to be a lot of standard tool hauls. It's going to be specialty stuff. But we're going to get into that today. Um, also, check us out on live streams on Saturday nights, most Saturday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So hit that like button, comment, let me know what you think. Hit that thumbs down if you don't like it. So let's get after this tool haul. First things first, let's check out this right here. It is a uh, Depot extractor set that actually I bought last week. I've used these, I've borrowed these a few times. Um, but I haven't had my own set, so I ended up buying them now. Uh, it's BEX D9. So these things here are not the blue points. These are actually the snap-ons. What they do are the twist sockets. I have uh, mentioned them in a video before. So anyway, they have the... I don't know if I can focus on that or not. Probably not. Let's get the biggest one out here, the three-quarter. I can show you. Um, there it is. So it's got those bites. I've used them, uh, the blue point set before. The snap-ons obviously are different, but the same. I, I don't know. Um, but these go smaller all the way down to a uh, quarter inch, I believe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, they go down to a quarter inch. So that'll be nice for those Allen heads and those studs that you can't really get to. Um, I, I'm pretty pretty stoked about them so anyway them are a good set I bought them at the snap-on truck there um, the next thing I've had quite a while and I've done an Instagram video on using this product uh, not this particular one but this is the SVT SRAD 272 a this is the vacuum fill kit from snap-on um, it really is a nice kit it actually has the radiator cap on it. I use this one a lot for filling systems and checking systems. It's been pretty phenomenal. I've had it probably six months to a year now, I would say. Um, there's another one I have. Let me go in the box here. Oh. It's made by Airlift. This one's an Airlift. This is the one I got. You can get them on Amazon, wherever. Um, but this one here has the different adapters and cones. It's a universal set. I use this one a lot um, pulling vacuums on hydraulic tanks, which helps you change the hoses without getting super soaked. Um, but yeah, so this airlift, you just hook this up. Um, you can check out some videos on it. I'm sure there's plenty out there on the airlift, but this is the vacuum side. I did put mufflers on both of mine. Um, basically, I took an old fuel filter, cut the end out, hogged it out, um, keeps that air a little quieter. But the airlift I use for hydraulic, cooling system one, I use for uh, coolant, just so that way I don't get cross-contamination with different stuff, because it will suck some of the coolant and oil out of it, and then when you go to put it back in, it does, I just didn't want the oil going back into the cooling systems on that. So that's what I did. Um, the next extractor thing that I bought, is so Snap-on's making these air hammer bits 3 8 drive you can put your wrench on here and actually air hammer while you turn it um, it's been pretty I, I tried it yesterday on a long stud it didn't actually work I ended up having to torch the bolt that's just the way it was so um, I don't think I would have done anything different to to do it um, to get it out of there so I but as a product I'm still under review on it it's not it hasn't been like oh my gosh this is the greatest thing ever yet but it's something I was willing to try um, but its functionality as far as putting on the bolt and turning while you hammer it it seemed to be pretty good um, kind of making it a little bit better of an impact because you can put the force on yourself um, maybe not break the bolt with the impact style but so there's that one for extractor uh, the last thing that I bought, sorry about being running back and forth like this so crazy, um, 
So I bought a compression gauge. Um, bought the compression gauge, diesel compression gauge. It goes up to uh, 800 PSI, which it's got the standard little uh, air chuck on the end like most do. Um, nothing real big, um, but it was a, I bought the kit off of Amazon for doing some compression tests on, that I was doing at home on uh, my dad's truck actually. Um, he had an old, uh, uh, it was an old 7.3 IDI that just needed a compression check. It was low compression anyway. Um, but I bought a gauge off Amazon and that thing failed. The hose failed. Um, and plus, I really didn't trust the Amazon gauge that well. So I just wanted a new gauge from Snap-on that I could trust and rely on with the nice check release, release uh, valve here and the nice check valve down here. Now the one from Amazon, the check valve worked fine. This one did. I can actually show you that if you want. Um, but the adapters were, let me grab it. So the adapters, the gauge was cheap, the set was cheap. Um, the adapters ended up being pretty nice actually so I'm just gonna build an adapter to go from uh, their little uh, chuck setup which is kind of normal to what I have to have but the gauge didn't break it wasn't the gauge's fault it was actually the hose so the pressure hose on this thing was junk um, let's see if there's a kit number on this thing I don't even know um, let's see here yeah, there is one here. It's X0014SBOIZ. Um, it was a cheap set. I just needed it in a pinch and got the compression test done. It was, uh, it was definitely, there was, I think, two cylinders that were super low compared to the rest. So, I mean, at that point, when you got two low cylinders, it doesn't really matter what the number of compression is. You just have two that are far lower. So the gauge really didn't matter to me as much. Um, as far as being specific on what they are. So that being said, um, yeah, that's kind of uh, kind of the tool haul, except for I did win this on uh, Everyday Fleet Tech's um, uh, live stream the one night. Uh, it was kind of crazy, the box cleaners. Um, I've used it on my box now. This bottle's almost gone, and I've had it probably I bet you I've had it two months, and I've cleaned my box far less since I've been using this with the dust and the dirt and the stuff. Wipes off easy if you get a little grease spot on there or something like that. It, it definitely cleans right up. Um, it's a great product. I'm going to have to try some more of their products now. I'm going to order some from the box cleaner, but they're, uh, it's definitely good stuff. It smells, the smell of this stuff is crazy phenomenal. So. I appreciate uh, everybody watching this. Um, like I said, it's another little tool haul. I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm probably gonna do more tool hauls. Unfortunately, um, not unfortunately, but I'm probably gonna do some more tool hauls because uh, people like them, and uh, I'm trying to get you some content that you like and trying to come up with new content. But it is tough when you work at a uh, dealership and you're trying to do some YouTube stuff. So right now it's uh, it's five in the morning. Um, taking the time before work to do these YouTube videos and uh, after work and try to try to make them all make sense and not have a conflict with, with uh, my job you know what I'm saying so it is uh, definitely a, a thing that I have to deal with with doing these videos so there's a lot of stuff I can't really put out there uh, as much as I'd want to I'd love to be able to do that more but uh, that's just how it works you know I gotta be here to work not to make videos so i appreciate you watching uh thanks again for checking out this tool haul uh if you get a chance hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you get notified when i have a live stream come on or when i hit a new video um check us out check uh heavy wrench out on instagram i got some pictures up there all the time i uh, try to be more involved with that but uh this is a great community so uh Come on in the mechanic community here at the Heavy Wrench, and uh, we have some fun on Saturday nights, most Saturday nights at 9 o'clock. So 
check all that stuff out and all that jazz, whatever it is, and uh, go from there. So thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Stay safe and keep that iron moving.